There are hundreds, if not thousands of phrases in the Icelandic language that we use all the time. Some of them are brilliant, and some are just plain stupid, but they all have one thing in common. They are extremely weird taken out of context. I have gathered my top 10 favorite phrases, and I am going to tell you what they mean, where they came from, and how the mid-journey AI imagines what they look like. Number 1. Þetta kemur allt með kalda vatninu. The literal meaning of this saying is, it all comes with the cold water. What it's actually saying is that everything will be okay when the cold water gets here. The origin of the saying is not fully known, but according to the Icelandic science web, it is likely that the saying formed when we started to install running water into homes. People patiently waited for their turn to get running water, and they believed that it would fix all their problems. It didn't. Number 2. Og þar stóð hnífurinn í kunni. The literal meaning of this saying is, and that's where the knife stuck out of the cow. This is a very common phrase used in conversation and news articles all the time. What you are actually saying here is that you have pinpointed the problem. There is a knife in the cow and I found it. I couldn't find any sources that might even begin to suggest where this weird turn of phrase came from. Often saying makes sense and you can kind of imagine how they formed back in the old days when people were dealing with the same common problems over and over again. But I can't imagine lost knives in cows have been a common problem at any point in history. Number 3 is rusinan í pilsuendanum. The literal meaning of this saying is the raisin at the end of the hot dog. This phrase is used to describe something great at the end of something good, something to look forward to, a highlight of an event if you will. The saying actually comes from Danish. The Danes used to put a few raisins at the end of a blood sausage. And you can just imagine how much you would look forward to finishing that disgusting Danish blood sausage and getting to the sweet raisins at the end. Number 4. A mála skrattan á veggin. The the literal meaning of this phrase is to paint the devil on the wall. It means pretty much the same as the phrase to make camel out of a fly. I couldn't find the origin of the saying, but I can imagine it coming from witchcraft or folklore. By painting the devil on the wall, you are inviting him into your home to make your problems worse than they need to be. I might try that actually, see if it works. Number 5 is Yes skal sína þér í tvo heimana. The literal meaning of this phrase is I will show you into the two worlds. This is a threat you might use if you are about 80 years old. What you are saying is that you are going to beat someone to within an inch of their lives. You will beat them so badly that they will be stuck between life and death. It's kind of similar to I'll put you in a coma, uh, I guess. But if you are going to get into a fight downtown, I don't recommend this as trash talk. It's kind of lame. Number 6 is Gektu hægt. The literal meaning of this phrase is walk slowly through the doors of joy. Its intended meaning is don't get over enthusiastic or slow down. You might use this saying to someone who is drinking too heavily that they should walk slowly through the doors of joy. You're basically saying slow down a bit. You could also use it if someone comes into a lot of money. You might use the phrase to warn the person to not go on a spending spree. It's basically a smart ass way to spoil the party and bring everyone down to earth. Number 7. Áfram með smjörið. The literal meaning of the phrase is on with the butter. The intended meaning is to signal that the break is over and you need to get back to whatever you were doing. For example, you might be digging a grave for some reason, when your neighbor walks by and starts talking to you. You stop, you give them the time of day, but when the conversation is over, you say, yeah, yeah, on with the butter, meaning that now you are going to get back to your grave digging. This saying originates from back in the day when Icelanders used to eat over three pounds of butter per person, per week. To create the butter, you needed to make it by hand with a plunger churn. It would take over 6,000 plunges to transform milk into butter. It was very labor intensive. So you would take yourself a short break, have some coffee, and then you get on with the butter. Number 8. You can alveg af fjöllum. The literal meaning of the phrase is, I come completely from the mountains. Its intended meaning is that you have no idea what the other person is talking about. It makes sense, because if the other person is talking about something that happened while you were in isolation on top of a remote mountain, then you won't know what they are talking about. It's sort of like saying that you have been living under a rock lately. It's a really nice idiom to use to save yourself embarrassment. You can either nod along and pretend you know what's going on in the conversation you're in, which happens to me a lot, or you can excuse yourself by saying you come completely from the mountains. Number 9. Enkin verður óbarinn biskup. Its literal meaning is that nobody becomes a bishop without getting beaten up along the way. Not beaten as in a game of football, which is a common mistranslation. This is one of my favorite phrases, mainly because there is a lot of truth to it. Well, kind of. I'm sure you can become a bishop today without getting beaten up. But if you want to achieve a goal in life, you need to experience rough times. And that's the literal meaning of the phrase. 
For example, creating this YouTube channel has certainly been a challenge. It's been really hard at times and I wanted to give up, more often than once, but I'm really glad I didn't. I have reached goal after goal thanks to you watching and your amazing support, and during difficult times I like to remind myself that nobody becomes a YouTuber without getting beaten up once in a while. Before we get to number 10, then how about doing all that like and subscribe stuff and even drop in a comment to tell me your favorite phrase. It doesn't have to be an Icelandic one, it can be in any language. And finally, the raisin at the end of the hot dog. Number 10 is Þetta reddast. Þetta reddast is possibly the most famous Icelandic saying. It means everything will be fine. And some seem to think that there is some lovely sentiment behind it, like an encouraging Buddhist wisdom or something. But no. Not at all. Þetta reddast is something Icelanders have used to excuse their poor money management for ages. If you can't afford something, just buy it anyways and worry about paying later. Þetta reddast. This is pretty much how our government works too. They get a quote from a contractor, it's way too low to be realistic, they'll just shrug and say, Þetta reddast. And usually things turn out fine. We have a massive debt problem for sure, but nothing that a few years of a crippling repayment eventually made easier by an inevitable hyperinflation won't fix. <clears throat> so, have a great trip.